Hey everyone, as we know, Anna means I or me in Arabic, and Enta means you. But there are other ways to say me or I and you in Arabic. So the first word, th these are more formal words. Um, mahsubak. Mahsubak is another way to say you, uh, is another way to say me. Mahsubak. And you would think that it means you because it has the calf at the end, but it's like, it's like saying your servant or something in English. Your servant. If I say your servant, I'm talking about me. Or your, yours, yours truly is me. That's, that's the same way as mahsubak. It means, if I say, like in, in a show I've been watching, it's, the name of the show is Abu Janti. He always says, mahsubak Abu Janti. Basically, yours truly, and his name is Abu Janti. Mahsubak. So the way you spell that is meme, ha, hard H, seen, wow, ba, kaf. Mahsubak. Um, so that's a, that's a more formal way to say me. Um, the other one is, is how to say you in a formal manner. Hadartak. The word is hadartak. Um, you spell this hard H. Ha, dad, ra, ta, kaf. Hadartak. And that's you for a male. You for female, if I'm saying you talking to a female, hadartik. In Egyptian, they pronounce it a little bit differently. So, Siri, this is like Syrian or Levantine, hadartak. In, in Egyptian is hadritak. So, hear the difference? Hadartak, hadritak. It's just the emphasis is a little different. Hadartak, hadritak. Um, yeah, so... That's all I've got for today. Mahsubak means me. I'm talking about myself. Mahsubak. Or Hadartak means you. Both of these are more formal ways of saying me and you. So um, that's it. Go to my blog. Actually, on my blog, I don't have the... Um, I actually went out and bought a domain. It was only like ten dollars a ten dollars a year, so I figured I should do it. The, I, I no longer use the dot blogspot dot com. It's just www.thearabicstudent.com now. So uh, yeah, go to thearabicstudent.com if you want to see more lessons about Arabic, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.